hello guys you guys are welcome back to my channel this is lillian space so this news has been going around this lady who came out to talk about her daughter whitney who just died on saturday and the school she attended is christland a christland high school had had a case before about sylvester and to think that this school also is the same school we are talking about like to be sincere, something has to be done about it. This woman has been crying on social media to seek justice for her daughter. Like, she don't even know what happened to her daughter. So this video, a, a whistleblower that someone came out and said that actually this girl died due to the cause of electrocution. Yes, so I'm going to allow you guys to listen to the video. But before that, before that, uh, actually, the Chrisland High School also came out to make a statement. They said that the child has been a sick child. Can you imagine? These people, that was the same thing they did during Sylvester time. They would just come out and make a statement and act as if they don't even know what happened to the child. So I'm going to read out the statement which this school brought out. And you guys will hear from their, their the horse's mouth. They said, the management and staff of Chrisland school limited with a deep sense of loss announced the death of our precious student whitney aden niran whose painful exit occurred on thursday february 9 2023 we are heartbroken and distressed whitney was one of our day students who opted not to participate in the inter-house sports match pass for reason we we are not very sure of however on discretion, we respected her decision to err on the side of caution because on the January 20th, 2023, it was in our record that she had complained about a non too buoyant health. We immediately contacted her parents. Her father, Mr. Michael Adi Iran, came to the school to take her home. We emphasized to her parents to take a critical look at her. Our immediate response was to take advantage of proximity to first aid by identifying the nearest medical facilities to take her to, where the doctor on duty administered oxygen and every aid possible on her. Chrysland requested that the Adairi family conduct a thorough investigation to determine the cause of her death before her funeral. The truth is that this school is very good at writing false statements. Like, they can write false statement. like, I don't even know how. So I'm going to leave the voice message, the audio record of the person that witnessed when this Whitney died. So I'm going to leave this voice message so that you can listen very carefully. Her fellow student who recorded it. With this girl in year 8, her name is Whitney. And let's just say that, like, we're not really friends as well. So they went for an entire sport. And then... And in my old school, for inter-house sports, you, like, go to a stadium. Yeah, so you go to the stadium. And in the stadium, they like, cotton candy machines, popcorn machines, and stuff like that. So Whitney always buys, like, cotton candy and popcorn. Like, that was she always does. So, like, she went there. And she was like, oh, remember some cotton candy, like, right? And so nothing about it. So she was excited for entire sports, you know. And then her hands are now wet. And she now mistakenly touched one of the cotton candy parts. And then she now got electrocuted. And then she now fainted. And her mouth, her, her mouth was foaming. Her veins were bulging, popping. Sorry, her mouth was foaming. Her veins were popping. And her this audio is the only reason that can explain to anybody the reason what happened to this girl happened. Because if it's for the statement that the the Chrisland school gave, it does not match with what happened to this. Because a parent always know, like, I know it's not easy, but the mother knows that her child was healthy and okay before she left her house. So how come all of a sudden this child just left like that? So I believe that something must have gone wrong, but they don't want to admit that they are wrong. And that is the number one thing. At least they have to admit that they were wrong. So uh, I want you guys to, as you people have heard, this woman really, really need justice because 
as it is now, this story is just very complicated. Just like the Sylvester's case, when you thought that everything was going to, 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 that justice was going to serve, at the end, nothing happened. So we are not going to allow this one to, it's not easy. This woman, just imagine giving birth to a child and bringing her up for 12 good years. This girl is a grown-up woman. She's a teenager. And only for you to hear one day that she's no more. Like, it's heartbreaking. If you listen to this woman, it will touch you. Like, I really don't know what to say, but this is very, very heartbreaking. And I, I, I stand so that they can seek justice for this little girl because I really, I really, I just, I really don't know what to say. So, guys, please... Just leave your comments down below and please like and share this video so it can reach us more. So, so many parents can be alert of what is going on in schools. You don't even know where to keep your children again. You don't even know whether to keep them at home or to send them to that the same school. I, I, I just don't know what to say. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel so that next time, I'll keep updating you guys about what is going on because I know this case isn't going to end like that. So thank you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Please. Bye.